His kursi, or chair, extends over the universe, and he never grows tired of guarding the heavens and the earth. He is the exalted, the supreme. Now, if you agree with that, if you said, well, that's what I believe about God, too. I think he is living and eternal. Well, you've only done this. You've only agreed with the Old Testament, said the same thing. Calling upon the living God is a very famous statement. Hallelujah means calling upon the living God. Ah, <laughs> go check it out. And then when you say, well, God doesn't sleep and God doesn't slumber. He doesn't nod out. He doesn't get weary. Well, that makes sense. And his knowledge. Well, if Allah doesn't know, then who does? Makes sense to me, too. But, you know, unless you take the time to read the scripture, unless you take the time to check out what I'm telling you, you're only taking my word for it, and I'm just a human being. For me, I prefer that you would go to the sources themselves. If you don't know where to begin or if you forget exactly what I was telling you in the program... We have a big website out there just for this subject called GodAllah.com. That's it. Don't put a dash. Don't put a hyphen. Don't put anything in it. Just say G-O-D-A-L-L-A-H dot com. Check it out. One more thing before I forget about it. It doesn't really matter what you call the creator, the sustainer of the universe. In fact, it doesn't even matter if you never say his name out loud anyway. What matters is what you're saying in your heart because that's what the scripture says and that's actually what we as Muslims know. Unless and until you can put God's plan in your life for you above what you want, above your desires, lusts and goals, unless you can do that, it doesn't matter really what you call God, does it? In fact, if somebody lived on a desert island and never even heard the word Muhammad, peace be upon him. Never heard the word Allah or Jesus or Moses. Never heard the word Bible. Would that keep him from going to paradise? Islam says no. Islam says that the one who truly believes and acts to the best of their ability on what they know and they believe, these are the people of paradise. And that's really all I wanted to be anyway. I don't need to win a debate. It's not important for me to win an argument even. I just want to win the big one on the day of judgment. I want God, Allah, to forgive me. And I want his paradise. And you know what else? I don't want to be caught off guard. Not on that day. Not when I'm asked, who's your Lord? I want to be able to say, the one true God, Allah. Till next time, this is Yusuf Estes signing off. Don't get caught off guard.